Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your favorite YouTuber, Boogie Bob. It's early. I don't get up this early. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. What the heck? Anyways, I've got a special mission today. I'm going to Long Island. That's Queens. Come on, Queens. I'm going to meet up with my boy, Burner. Burner's in town. He's doing an album release. The new album, Gotti. If you ain't got it, go get it. It's fire. I'm listening to it right now. I'm going to take the train. I'm going to go check him out. But I don't even know if I'll get to see him. Because even though he's my friend, he's got hundreds of thousands of people that follow him to every event. I don't know if he'll even see me standing in line. Uh, I'm going to go take a chance. I'm going to go see if I see my boy Burn. Come along with me. What's poppin'? Welcome to the Boogie Bob Experience. I'm your favorite YouTuber. Oh, we gonna have some fun. We gonna have some fun. in the pizza joint across the street. This is uh, the Gotti bus. This ain't no rental, folks. He owns this bus. He got the peak clip for this bus, as he says. And, uh, pretty amazing. Across the street, you'll see a line all the way down the block and around the corner to meet Burner. I don't do the meet and greet, but I also don't do the knock on the window and say, hey, Burner, it's me. If he sees me cool, if not, then I just, uh, hopefully I'll get him his gift and I'll get out of here. So for those of you who don't know who Burner is, Burner is a San Francisco rapper and entrepreneur. He's got about 30 something albums and mixtapes out. He's performed with everybody he's got on his album. Chris Brown, Future, of course Snoop Dogg, E-40, all the bigs. He is one of the most well-respected rappers in the game, but he's also an entrepreneur. That's his bus right there. He's dropping his new Gotti album today. There's a line across the street, but it doesn't, when there's a meet and greet for Burner, there's thousands of people that show up. 
There he is. That's John Scott Scott Jr. How you doing? What's that, John? God bless you. The energy out here is crazy. Everybody's dressed in their cookies outfits, cookies backpacks, cookie shirts. And this guy's got a cookie shirt, a cookie hat. It's, uh, he has some die-hard fans out here. He got a cookie mask. Went to the store and I bought her some gifts. I'll, I'll run the clip so you can see where I got the gifts, but I hope he enjoys it. There's a lot of people out here giving him stuff. This is from the heart. That's for him, and I got one for his daughter. Hopefully she'll like it. I'm gonna give it to his homie to give to him, and then I'm gonna bounce. I'll go interview some people in line. That's for his daughter. There's Bernard's film crew. And here's the artist right here who made this beautiful painting for him. Pretty dope. Bernard's gonna be coming off the bus in a second. Well, I just gave his security my gift. I hope he enjoys it. I don't expect to get to kick it with him today. It's insane out here. You have no idea. Police are out here. John Gotti Jr. is out here. You got, I don't know how many fans. His fans are not your regular fans. They rabid fans. They diehard fans. They're going to be out here deep. So if I get a chance to see him, it's going to be him walking off the bus. That's it. Uh, this thing starts at 12, so I figure he'll be coming out in a few minutes. It's insane over there. Uh, I'll follow him to the crowd, and then I gotta bounce. So he's very kind to his fans, and uh, he's gonna have them line up so they can sign autographs for him. I expect him to come walking out in a second. He loves his fans more than anyone. What's up? Oh, I'm glad. Oh, shit, he's out there. That's a good dude. I've known him since before he was. Yeah, no, he told me that. So yeah. it's hard to see to him, and I time. ain't no groupie guy. So yeah. I just want to say hi and tell him I love him and pray for him and his family. And no, he, he, he knows me right when I told him, like, you know, DJ Pitt, he's like, tell oh, these guys. Yeah, tell my guy, because I don't know, I, I brag about Burner all the time. <laughs> so you ran the gift in for me? I sure did. Thank you, Playboy. How you doing? Well, how you doing, bro? Yeah, I sure did. And he said? He was very grateful. I love him, brother. I've known you for a long time. We go way back. Very a rap talk. Listen, you ever seen him be mean to anyone? No, he's sweet. It's not in his nature. Just a kind, sweet. good person. And all the people around him. How long have you been rolling with him? Oh, uh, several years. Lots of years. I, I know it's a lot of work, but I know it's fun. Yeah, yeah. Good for you, brother. What's your name? Chris. Chris. DJ Pimp. Thank yeah, you for well, running you that in. Here now, bro? Say that again? You live out here? Yeah, I've been in New York for years. So whenever he comes out, I try to see him, but it's gotten harder and harder each year. Yeah. I come out because I love him, and then I don't do the line thing, and I don't knock on the ball. Hi, Burner. Yeah. I'll say hi when he comes out. Let his fans enjoy him. Yeah. He's got such a rapid, beautiful fan base. It's Crazy. insane. Crazy. It's insane. And I got to see John Jr. come out. That was nice. Yeah, that was dope. I got to, I meet, I got to meet him. You got to meet time. him? Thanks that was you. crazy, yeah. I do. I'm like, hi, John. <laughs> little, little bass in my voice. Yeah, but coming to see Burner now to go over there, I can't do it. I'm old. I'm old now. But uh, I, I love to see the guys. I love to see happy guys. Yeah. So. What do you do? It means a lot to me. I own a pretty large business out here. I own a hospitality business. Oh, word. So, word. yeah, yeah. So, in fact, one time, one of my managers came to my house. He said, he, I was wearing a Mac Dre shirt. He's like, what you know about Mac Dre? I said, well, I'm from the Bay Area. What are you talking about? He goes, oh, I got, I got a favorite rapper from the Bay. I go, what's his name? I probably know him. He goes, his name is Burner. You never heard of him. I go, uh, Burner's my boy. And my, this is one of my longtime workers. He rolled his eyes at me like, uh-huh. And then Burner happened to be doing a cookies uh, release out here for something. And I brought the kid with me. Lost his mind. Yeah, and of course, uh, Burner treated him like a king. Yeah, that's the, he treats every single person like they're really, really important. That's why he has such a good family. That's why. Never seen him turn anyone down. What is this, and, man? Oh, this is my YouTube. I'm not live right now. I was going to do live. But, uh, you have oh, a YouTube channel? Yeah, Boogie Bob. Boogie 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 Boogie. Boogie. I got a popping ass channel, Boogie Let's Bob. Check it out. This guy, this guy travels around. This is the weed guy. Yeah. I'm the rap guy. That's the weed guy. Yeah. So he knows. Actually, he knows. I'm the sneaker guy. He's the sneaker guy.
Brother, can I show my live viewers your thing? Yeah, it's really know. brilliant, bro. He's going to absolutely lose his mind with that. You got to get the selfie thing going on. New York Times uh, newspaper. I think that's such a dope idea. That's crazy. Very, very creative. Thank you. Guys, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I oh, I can't wait till he... Are you going to have him sign it? Because he's signing all... No, he oh, what a nice gift. Yeah. Well, listen. You have him take it on the bus. Otherwise, that's why I gave him my gift now. Because otherwise, he's going to be over there for about five, six hours. Yeah. Don't hell. Who I knows? I'm going to take a picture in the security or something. Yeah, like that. Have him the slide it right on the bus. That's a great... It's going to hang it in his home. I guarantee it. It's beautiful, man. Good job. It's a beautiful painting. Uh, I didn't want to... I'm not gonna get in line. I'm not gonna. I'm not a fan. I'm a friend. I'm not gonna get in line. Uh, but I gave my gift to this guy. This is Chris. This is one of his right hand men. And Chris took it on the bus. And then uh, Chris came out. And I thought, oh, that's it. Chris came out, walked right up to me, and said, "Oh, Pip, guy loves you." He says, "Hello." He'll see you when he comes out. I don't smoke weed, but he is the biggest weed uh, distribution guy in the country. He has 34 stores. And his brand is called Cookies. And there are literally thousands. This guy's wearing, that's a Cookies. And the hat, got the hat. The hat is Vibes. He owns Vibes as well. He's an entrepreneur worth hundreds of millions of dollars. He's a very wealthy but very kind and nice and good person. He treats his fans like gold, and you're going to see that when he comes out. He's just a very, very sweet, nice person. Over there... There's a line from here, where the pizza shop is, all the way down the block and around the corner. And I'm going to take you over there, I'll interview some people, what does Burner mean to you, that kind of thing. And we'll see what happens. Uh, Burner owns cookies, and that's a cookies backpack. He's wearing the cookies sweatsuit. Everybody out here, this guy's got cookies cereal. <laughs> Everybody out here has uh, cookie stuff on. His merchandise is, I think it's about 50 million a year. He's got Cookies Water. Of course, he's got all the Cookies paraphernalia. And uh, people are lined up to get autographs over here. You have a lot of people up and down the street. But this side is nothing. These are just people that are going to say hi when he walks out. Across the street, we got about, I don't know, 50 cops because it's going to be a mob scene when he comes out. Now, when he does a marijuana store opening, there are thousands tens of thousands it doesn't look like that yet but um the idea is if you go over there and buy a, a pizza and an album you get a chance to 50 people get a chance to go in the back and smoke with them and one person is going to win a bottle of wine from john Gotti senior from john Gotti from his collection so the people are out here deep very very deep yes and uh if you're not a Burner fan, a Weed fan, or a Hip Hop fan, this video is probably not for you. I have known him since he had a 9 to 5 job. And uh, never could have imagined the wonderful things that have uh, happened for him and to him. He has a beautiful family. He's very wealthy. And he has a fan base like nobody else. He's got a fan base like Michael Jackson. They are that excited when they see him. And he's so kind and nice and down to earth. I can't wait for you guys to meet him. I've been bragging about him for a long time. I think we got action, folks. It's 12. People are getting off the bus. There's security. Yep. Our burner's definitely coming out now. And uh, uh, he got about eight or ten. So there's, there's Burner. Right there. So <laughs> Playboy! I told you they're gonna get around it now. He's super duper sweet, very nice. It's gonna be very hard to you see them all. You see them all. even say hi I think there's just so many people mugging him he doesn't say no to anybody he's super sweet very nice yes sir I'm gonna be there check that out bro appreciate you man oh yeah you sign that up come to 
Stay strong, bird. Stay strong, baby. Yes, sir. 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 Got it. Security is deep out here. Let's go right in. I was right there. Right in. Right Following. <laughs> Bernard, what's cracking, OG? What's up, my God? God man. bless you, brother. You know you ain't coming to New York without me saying hi. Praying for you and your family, Playboy. God bless you, man. I'll see you inside, okay? That's it. That's what I do. I come say hi. He shows how much he loves me, and then we keep it moving. That's Bernard. Now, listen, guys, it's going to get insane. You can't tug at a friend just because he's your friend. Look at this. Here to the back of the line. People have been out here for hours and hours in the cold. I'm so whoops, sorry. I'm so glad I got to see him. It's very hard. It's very, very hard to see him. It just people will come and look. The line is down the block. Uh, let me just say hi. Everybody's wearing cookies. You see, everywhere you look, you see cookies. What's popping? What's popping? Burner just walked in. Line gonna start moving. It's cracking. Who love Burner out here? Yeah. All right. All right. Where the Bay Area at? That's what I want to know. Where's the Bay Area right here? All right. What's cracking, man? What's cracking? Out now, man. Go stream that shit, bro. I feel you. Burner just walked in. Burner just walked in. All they out here. Okay, guys. Look. I'm, I'm actually feeling it. What's up, player? How you living? All right. Yeah, I'm actually I'm feeling it. God, he vibes. You, you've been hearing? Oh, you got the vibes? You've been you hearing know? the album? Is the oh, album yeah. fire it's or what? Fire. It's going gold. It's, it's guaranteed going gold. Listen, it's what do you think about Burner? Tell me album. anything you can about Burner. Yo, Burner is a fucking a businessman, an entrepreneur, a motherfucking a, a legend. A legend in hip-hop, a legend in fucking business. I and love the this game, brother right here. Everything. The man been, been, been going up. As he said in his last interview with, with, with Bootleg Kev, he's continuously going up, and the grind is never going to stop for that man. Much love to Burner, yo. Have Legend. you ever been to any of his uh, store openings? I never any did the store them. No, because I'm a New Yorker, you know what uh, I mean? Like, I, I feel you. But, but, soon, right? Yeah, soon. soon. Soon enough. God bless you, Next brother. Year, yeah. God bless you. Thank you, man. Hey, you heard it here. There's, there's guys out here loving Burner. If you love Burner, make some noise up in this bitch. Yeah. All right. What do you think about Burner, player? I never been to Cali, so I gotta hit a cookie store. He's coming right to you. Yo, he so just walked in, so you're gonna see him in a minute. I gotta talk to him. All right, player. All right. These are the cats out here. Loving Burner. What you think of Burner, player? Come on now, baby. Who's more fire than Burner? Is there anybody more Michael Jordan ish in the weed game or the rap game than Burner? You got it all the merch, man. The weed game. He, who, could, who could touch Burner in the weed game? Nobody, 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 nobody. Period. Is that what the kids say? Just come Period. And, come and spend that money. That's all you can do. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Thank you, player. I'll see you guys inside, okay? Thank you so much. I heard you say Bay Area. Yeah. What town? What city? Santa Rosa. I'm from 707, baby. <laughs> Home are? of E40, Mac, Dre. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm saying. I'm 707. I come up with Burner many, many years. What do you guys think really? of Burner? This is, I First of all, are you living in time. New York? No, I'm visiting. She's living. So you must have tripped when you heard Burner was in town. I found out the day before my flight left. It's oh. meant to be. I better meet you, Burner. I better Burner meet just you. walked in. You're going to meet him. I, I probably. And he's him. super sweet. He doesn't say no to anyone. <laughs> no, Have fun I'm while sure. you're here, okay? Thank you. Santa Rosa's in the house. What's up, players? Tell me about Burner. What's cracking with Burner? Who's doper than Burner? Anybody? I love Burner. Have a fun time inside, folks. All right. We're just walking. We're just walking. We ain't doing nothing. I see a Niner in the house. You a Bay Area cat? Of course. From the Bay, baby. Absolutely. Where you from? Where in the Bay? Originally from the North Bay, but I lived in San Francisco for eight years. I'm from the 707. All right, that's where I'm Home from. Home of Mac Dre, E40. I'm from Fairfield. Absolutely. Where you from, Vallejo? Petaluma. Petaluma. I love me some Petaluma. Yeah. All right. Uh, do you live here now? I do. I've lived here for four years. So what was it? 
when you heard that God, uh, that Gotti was dropping and that burner was going to be here in New York? You had to come. Well, first and foremost, I live in Queens, so it was easy to get over here. Right down the block. Yeah, right down the block. I had to take like a couple a... trains. I got lost and turned around. I did see John Gotti Jr. a few minutes ago. That was nice. That's wild. Yeah. That was nice. So you, you, you're here because, A, you love burning. You listen to the music, too, or you like the weed? Or all, both? All three, and also <laughs> I'm in the food industry, so I love pizza, so I love oh, some good pizza. Look, you so. got it all today, brother. Yeah, exactly. It's, Have it's fun. the whole package for me. God bless you, man. Have a Absolutely. good time, okay? Thank you. You too. You too. Thanks. All right. We just uh, we just talking to the people. It's uh, it's uh, it's deep out here, bro. It's deep. His fans are like no other. They are really, really diehard fans. A lot of people just don't like the camera all up in their face, but I'm uh. You gotta have a vaccination card to get in. Got to have the vaccine pass, card to get money. in. If, if you, you don't, don't have, have it, you might as well get out of line. That's how that works. So, if you don't have a vaccination card, get out of line now because they ain't letting you in. Every single person out here smoking weed, it's, uh, it's, it's insane out here. This is how you get in, right through here. And uh, It's deep out here. Thank you, player. Thank you. It's a, uh, it's deep out here. All right, guys, I hope that you had a good time. Wait, what's cracking? What you love about Burner? Everything, bro. Where are you from? Tom's River, New Jersey. Oh, Jersey. Hell yeah. You made the trek over here because you heard Burner was in town. Damn right. And he's going to be, I think he's opening up a spot in Jersey. Yep, right? eventually. You got a cookies popping in Jersey. You know, I know you're going to be there for that. Oh, fuck yeah. You already know. Oh, look. Oh, that's fire right there. He got the whole suit on. So what do you like about Burner? He's revolutionary. He's fucking changing the weed game, bro. He really is. He is. Do you listen to his music at all? Oh, yeah, I do. Gotti's fire. Gotti is fire. Gotti's I got fire. to see John Gotti Jr. get off the bus a few minutes ago. That was nice. That's lit. I was yeah. really tripping. I'm, I hope you guys have a great time. Okay? Too, Thank you, man. Thank you. I'm going to shake your hand, too. Yeah. All right. Have fun. Are you guys in line to get in? Yeah. How's yeah. that work? Is the line going both ways? or? I have no idea. You got your Vax cards? Not with me. Hey, Megan, you have it? You got it on your phone? I think so, yeah. Some dude up there is saying no vax car, you ain't getting in. Oh, uh, no. I don't know how long he's going to be here, so I want you to have a good time regardless. All right? All right. Take care. Guys, I'm doing little random interviews on the street. Um, some of the guys that were with me at the bus, they followed Burner to the front of the line. They were smart. Other guys who waited in line like four or five hours, they're just going to get in when they get in. Uh, this is the pizza spot, although it says Chinese, it was probably, I'm thinking, a pizza spot when Gotti was in this neighborhood. So, I'm just uh, bringing you what I can. I don't know anybody out here except Werner. He went in. I don't even know how much I got of him on the live. I hope that you guys were able to see that. And me and Werner are dear friends from way, way back, and it was just nice to see him. He knows I don't. I don't go backstage. I don't get on buses. I don't. I will go support and then I leave. That's what I do, and uh, that's what I'm doing. But I figure since I'm here, we now got 75 people. I'd like you to uh, to get to see what he's about. The people out here are what you call die-hard fans. They are deep. And they are burner fans. That's what it is. The hat. The backpack. It's all cookies. <laughs> Everything is cookies. That's the brand. So basically, they're waiting to get in to say hi. That's it. But if you look, almost every person has a, a cookies hat, hoodie, sweatsuit. And by the way, the hoodies are like really expensive. I think his merch does like 50 million a year. His weed does hundreds of millions a year, but his merch is, is popping. So, uh, even his security is very nice. Cam corner out here. That's uh, Burner's right hand man, one of his longest friends. And, uh, Hey 
guys. What does Burner mean to you? Burner? Yeah. What do you love about Burner? What brought you out here today other than coming to see Burner? Um, just to support the Cookies brand, you know, Burner, the new Gotti album. Fire. We out here, Fire. you know, showing that love. Where are you from? I'm from New York City. I'm from the Bronx. Oh, the BX in the house. Stand up. We out here. All right. You know, I'm about to get this pizza and this album. I feel you, man. I hope you have a wonderful day, man. Thank, Thank you so you, much man. for coming out. God bless you. All right. I'm just kind of, excuse me, brother. I'm just kind of walking and talking. Uh, you got to be careful who you do. Here you go. Some people are camera shy. Some people are camera shy. Let me get up out of this thing. He ain't no joke, bro. Got a winner there. All right. You see the line. People have been out here in line for a while. And uh, uh, I think some people are maybe getting grouchy because when you're in line, uh, and then others just kind of come bum rush. What's cracking? What do you feel about Burner? Anybody heard the new album? Yeah. The Fire. It's awesome. The Fire. All right. What brings you out? Who here is from outside of New York? Who New traveled Jersey. to come see Burner? Oh, we got Jersey, Jersey in the house. Jersey, Jersey deep out of here. Yo, I love Jersey. I don't want no They're static. Way down South Jersey, I don't want no static with Jersey. What 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 draws you to come check out Burner? Music. I love it. A lot of the guys are the weed guys here, but the music too. I love I love both. Uh, how long have you been a Burner supporter or fan or? Yeah, about five Have you ever been now. to any of his openings or anything? Yeah, I went to the show last time I seen you at the, um, what's up, what, uh, SOBs. I was, yeah, yeah I was, was there at SOBs, absolutely, got Webster Hall. It's insane trying to get to say hi to Bernie. You all going to meet him. I hope you had the best time ever. Thanks so All right, much. God bless nice you. Jersey you in the house. Man. We got Jersey nice up in this bitch. Too. All right, y'all, have a good time. Who else is here to see Burner? Everybody. What you feel about Burner? Tell me something good about Burner. Cookies, man. Oh, that brother. It's a connoisseur right there. Go ahead, ladies. That's a connoisseur. How long have you been supporting? Say that again? He got a good heart. He got a wonderful heart. I don't think most people, if you don't really know him, you don't know that. But he's going to make sure every single person out here, from the janitor to John Gotti Jr., is going to get to say hi. I hope you all have fun today, okay? Be safe. Oh, look at this. Oh, this brother. Oh, that's fire right there. Where the hell you get that, player? Huh? I love it. Stir fry. He got the bag, bro. <laughs> Have fun, all right? All right, guys. We out here. We out here talking to Burner fans. And uh, they love Burner. I love Burner. Uh, I, I love to hear the people who said they're here for the music. Right? And the people who said uh, that he's got a kind heart because that's really what he's about. Today is really about the music. Yes, everybody's out here. The weed guys are out here. Look how good I look. The weed guys are out here. And, um, but the music, the, today he's dropping an album. It's Gotti. You can get it on all digital platforms. You can buy it right inside. If you buy an album and a pizza, 50 people are gonna get to go in the back and smoke out with Burner. He'll have you walking home on crutches. And uh, we're here in Queens. We're in beautiful Queens. It's crazy out here, folks. I'm gonna walk the line again. I'm gonna say hi, introduce you to some people. And uh, I don't know anybody out here, so I'm just kind of walking blind. Just kind of walking blind. Hopefully people will will enjoy. What's cracking? You out here to see Burner? Yes, sir. Where you come from? Queens, New York, baby. Oh, that's a queen. He didn't have to travel far, brother. Walked here. Yes, sir. What you feeling about? Oh, you got the sweatsuit, the yeah, sweatshirt. Oh, what is that? This is something coming out from Burner right here. Oh. Is that four burner? Yes. Gonna, so just because burner got the cookie, he don't got all the strains in the world. You're gonna blow his mind with something new. Yes, sir. All right, have a good time. Thank Enjoy. You. All right. Uh, we're just kind of walking, talking. That guy's gonna bring burner gifts. The line is uh, considerably longer. It's much all the way down the block now. These are new cats that are out here. And uh, again, I'll just I'll say hi to some people. I'm not the. I don't like to jam the camera. I'll wait till someone is a. Uh, is saying hi before I jump in there because some people got warrants. Some people got warrants, you feel me? Uh, this guy. Ooh, I love it. That's your piece? What's cracking? I love it. 
This is young entrepreneurs right here. What is High Flix? What is this? High Flix is the best organic premium exotic style on the East Coast. Take oh, I love it. And you're going to go show burner. Got to chop yes. it up. That's, That's an entrepreneur we inside. We wanted to go to the bus. Like we got 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 oh, thanks, player. I appreciate that. I love to see the entrepreneurs out here getting the hustle on. That's how Burner started. I know, it's yeah. inspiration. And where y'all from? Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, you, oh, Y.O. in the house? You know I love me some Y.O. Mount Vernon, the whole nine yards up there. And you got the BX in here. What do you like about Burner? Yo, he's a story. Everything, uh, movement, with everything he's doing. He laid music. a blueprint. Like Nick Day for music, Burner made a blueprint for how this weed movement. That's crazy. You gotta respect that. Is he the Michael Jordan of weed? Okay. Can anybody touch him? Is there even a Scotty Pippen close to the Michael Jordan of weed? You try to see if you can get on the team? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yuck Mouth, Burner, uh, Snoop. Then we go put Mr. Hotflix right there next to him. Hotflix on there too. Thank you guys. Have fun. Have fun. You'll be inside in no time. Have fun. What's cracking, man? What you feeling about Burner? I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm out here. I came out here from Cali. So. What part of Cali? Uh, Don't say the Bay Area. Up north, yo. By That's the Bay my area. shit. I'm a 707 Bay. representative, baby. That's what's up. That's E40, Mac Dre, Mac See, Mall. I'm originally from Jersey. I moved out there for undisclosed reasons. <laughs> I feel you. You, you, ain't got no, I, you ain't got no warrants? I don't got to. All right. Uh, what, where were you out out there? What city were you in in the Bay? Oh, no, I was in the Bay. I'm up by Sacramento. Oh, uh, Fairfield right outside of Sac. Yeah, so you and Sebo and Mozzie and all them cats getting I'm down in Sac. I'm up in the Bay probably like, yeah. I go out down there every week. All right. Like all right, so now you you in the, in New York by coincidence? You didn't come out here no, just no, for no, burning. I came out here. I came out here for something else, but... Uh, this I brother right here, you know I, I want to write like, a book about this I'm brother like, right here. I'm out here, so I'm, I'm going to come check him. You know? Absolutely, man. Have fun inside, yeah, all right? All right. Hey, guys, what's happening? All right, we just walking and talking. We're just walking and talking. And the end of the line is here. So guys, I cannot, in good conscience, wait in the line for anything. They were giving out free Jordans, speaking of. Ain't nobody out here got doper shoes than me. If they were giving out free Jordans, I still wouldn't. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't wait in line. I couldn't, can't, in good conscience. All right, I hope you guys had a good time. I wanted to uh, bring you here, show you that, that Burner is not just a, a friend and a nice person, but he's an entrepreneur, an icon. These people adore him and idolize him. It's cold out of here. The line, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe a thousand people. It's been, half of the line's already gone inside. I don't know how they're doing that because it must be a monstrous shop. A lot of this line is going down. Uh, I just wanted to come out, give him a gift, tell him I love him. He was uh, diagnosed with cancer last month. I don't know the status of that, but I'm praying for him. I'd love it if you guys would pray for him. You could see how much he means to so many people out here. Clothing, the music, the, uh, the course of weed, but the kindness. Uh, the consensus is out here. He's the nicest guy in the business. Super duper nice person. And uh, really, really happy I came. I don't come to a lot of these things because I'm just too old. I can't handle it. And uh, I'm glad I came. Thank you, player. I don't even know how it works. I think you come in, you're going to, uh, let me figure out how I get past this. I think you come in. You uh, work your way into the pizza shop. You say hi, and then you keep it moving. I got the first one. Not sure how they're picking the line or what they're doing, but I'm going to uh, bid you guys farewell. I said I'd come out. I'm going to chop up this video. I haven't been able to read the comments, bro. But uh, 
What's up with Burner? Y'all love Burner? Love Where are you from? Queens. Queens? You walked here. Yeah. I had to take three trains and a bus and a cab and, a, and you walked here. Uh, so you heard Burner was coming. Yeah. He said, I'm going. Of course. Uh, what, what do you love so much about Burner? Uh, he loves the weed. The inspiration. Oh, the inspiration. Oh, that's wonderful. Have you met him before? I have. You're going to meet him today. Hopefully. He's really super duper nice. You're going to love him. Yeah. Got the clothing thing going on. I just got to meet John Gotti Jr. Oh. You're from Queens, so that, that'd be a big thing. You just got yeah. off the bus. Uh, what else? What else do you like about Burner? Music, weed, everything. Is that Gotti album Fire? Yeah. I Fire. can't stop playing. I just Fire. downloaded that bitch last night. Fire. Fire. Thank you so much for coming out. Y'all have fun, okay? All right. That's it. That's it, folks. I'm going to uh, take you back to the bus. I'm going to tell you, uh, I don't think I've ever explained to you how I met Burner. So, 20 years ago, give or take a year, Burner was a struggling, up-and-coming rapper. I was a well-established person in the music business. And because Burner is a white guy, was cracking? Texas, you here to Shout see Burner? Tell me where Burner, you're from. Man. All the way from Austin, Texas, man. Get out of here. From Austin, Texas, Oh, baby. that's crazy, bro. Yeah, we came to support. You're going to see Burner today. What, do you, what does Burner mean to you? What do you like about hey, Burner? Man, first thing, first thing, blessings to Burner. Positive energy your way, baby. You're going to get over this shit, fight that shit. You're going to beat that shit up. Don't oh, worry amen about it, to that player. You know God bless saying? you, man. Love Thank Burner you so much. Austin, Texas. Need Have high. fun. We got Austin, Texas in the house, and he's uh, he's uh, talking about Burner beating cancer. Uh... Burner has uh, everything in the world. The most beautiful family. Of course, beautiful homes. He owns that tour bus right there, the $2 million tour bus. He is a, uh, a financial genius. He owns I don't know how many businesses. He makes hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. And uh, he unfortunately was just diagnosed with cancer. So no matter how good things are going, something can always reach out and grab you. He is a wonderful, kind, nice person. So about 20 years ago, Burner was a really, when I say struggle, he was just a guy who didn't have a lot going on. He was a, a manager at a weed place in, in, in San Francisco, right? That's when you had to have the card for glaucoma. You had to go see a doctor and blah, blah, blah. And he, he did a mixtape with a rapper named Jacka from the Mob Figures. I manage AP9 from the Mob Figures, so I knew him very well. Jack was killed several years ago. But he did a, a mixtape, and uh, people hated on him. They would hate on him nonstop, because that's what people do. That's what losers do when you... Oh, sorry. These are the guys I was just talking to. High flicks. By the way, this is a bag of what you put marijuana in. So, I'm going to leave that right there for somebody. So, um, I reached out to Burner. He was catching hell from all these douchebags, losers. They, 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 they kissing his ass now, but back then they were talking all this mad crap about him. And he knew it. I said, he, I, I called him. Said he was dope. He was, uh, he's never forgot that. It's one thing, Texas in the house! I feel you. It's one thing when you compliment him and kiss his ass when he's rich. Hey, I ain't but, gonna disrespect you. No, you ain't. Man, I'm trying to pay to get ahead of that line to get up in there, man. How much I gotta pay to get in there? Nah, I man? feel you, man. I feel you. <laughs> nah, listen, the line is actually going really quick. Oh, it, is? it was really long before. It's going really, he, he knows how, he, you know, he's an expert at these things. You've been to any cookies openings? The first one. It's crazy. So, yeah, this ain't cookies. You know, cookies, you ain't getting in. You ain't getting in unless you're there with a sleeping bag. You're going to get in. An hour, you'll be in there. It's a good ass line, too. They solid. I will. So I can tag him. Oh, I love it. Let's make sure you can see the bus. There it is. Boom. I'm taking three or four. Then I'm going to take one this way. Boom. Guys, have a fun time, okay? So I, I actually reached out to Burner, and he was so grateful and appreciative. And then I said, let me do an interview with you. By the way, the interview is on my YouTube channel. It's an audio interview, but it's from 15 or 17 years ago. 
when he was just starting out, and you can hear his ambition in his drive. He was not famous yet. He had a couple mixtapes, and he was so appreciative and grateful that I always supported him. And uh, that's one thing he always says to me. He says, man, you were there from the very beginning, and you always held me down. And I just think, if I was one of those dicks talking crap, oh, you'll never make it, you're this. Guys, he's one of the most successful rappers in the world. He's got right now like Jay-Z status. And I don't mean that on the rap albums. I mean that on the status. I don't know that Jay-Z would have a line this long if he had an album drop out here. I don't know. He might. But you gotta remember, this is a Bay Area rapper from San Francisco. And this is New York City, bro. You know how hard this market is to break into? It took forever for E-40, Ice-T, Snoop Dogg to even get some traction out here. That's a fact. I know, because I was there. In the 90s, you couldn't get him to play a damn MC Hammer or a Snoop Dogg record. Uh, then, uh, you know, the whole West Coast blew up and it was a different story. But to have Burner be so successful and so humble and so nice, it's an amazing testament to who he is and what he is. Oh, Imran just posted the link. So guys, if you want to know more about my relationship with Burner, I think you'll really enjoy the interview. I called him at his home. I was a celebrity. He was on his way up, uh, kind of. I was a big celebrity back then. I interviewed him and uh, tens of thousands of people saw and heard the interview when I did it. I've interviewed everybody from Lil Wayne to Busta Rhymes. Keisha Cole. I was the very first person to ever put Nicki Minaj in a magazine. That's facts. Facts. And uh, I don't know what that is right there. That's a crazy looking statue. Hey, what's happening? So guys, I'm in Queens and I'm just walking now. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the burner thing. Uh, the line is all the way down now. All the way down the block. Come here and get in there. I, I did the walk and talk thing. I did that for you. I don't like to interview strangers. Uh, Fernando's really good at that. I'm not. I always feel like they're gonna punch me. <laughs> so, anyways, we had a, uh, a fun time. I got to see uh, and talk to John Gotti Jr. from 30 feet away, uh, John Gotti Jr. And he, he engaged me, he was very nice, very sweet. Uh, to, to, to say hi and bless his family, that was nice. And then to uh, have Burner come out and be so gracious and kind and don't even know there was so many people security punching me in the back and stuff I don't even know what I said to him hopefully you guys saw the the tape you'll rewind it I'm gonna chop this up and make a little video of me coming out you here. guys have a good time if you had a good time let me hear you say ho oh! and if you had a crappy time you know why why'd you have a crappy time this is me this old Boogie Bob, he's gonna go back to Manhattan. I got about eight phone calls to make because everybody was calling me during this thing. So, uh, that's the E-Train. Watch for this video, special appearance by John Gotti Jr. Uh, of course, Burner's in the video saying hi to his boy, DJ Pimp. I had a fun time getting to meet Burner. Uh, it was crowded, it was mayhem, but it was nice. I did some interviews, I got to see Burner, got to give the gift. I hope that you guys had a wonderful time. I'm in Queens. I'm headed back to Money Making Manhattan. And I hope that uh, we'll see each other again real soon. Please be kind and loving to each other. And be good to yourself because you deserve it. Next stop, Manhattan. Money Making Manhattan.